So, I was standing there, staring at myself in the mirror, like fully here, and what was looking back at me was my mother, and then at the same time, my younger self, and I'm just having this emotional ass time, because I'm with all my friends, we're all tripping balls, but I'm in the bathroom, like, throwing water all over my face, like just staring at myself. Like I spent a lot of time in the mirror. And then I just see, looking at my mom, looking at myself, understanding like it was like a full ass, radical ass acceptance moment. That's just like, I am just a girl. I'm just a girl, but I'm a girl who has desperately needed and wanted her mother so fucking bad like that. Like, like I feel like you've heard me say this you've heard me express this but like i haven't accepted that that's who i am like i've needed her and she's just not what i need like she she's not and i haven't accepted that and i think i hold this sort of resentment but in that moment i was looking at her and laying herself and i was like holding myself and i was like this is what it feels like to hold myself this is what it feels like to know that i I have to hold myself, I have to give myself this love that my mother didn't give to me, right? And then also during this trip, I was having another radical acceptance moment where I was looking at my reflection and I was just like, this is me. I look like this. I can't change it. I gotta fucking accept that this is what it is or I have to kill myself not the latter not the last part I'm, i don't need to kill myself but you know like this is this is who i am like i need to accept that this is me and i've been like you know i've been doing a lot more of my affirmations out loud like i have them up on my fucking wall and i see them in the mirror but i see them in the mirror and i'm like deep down like wanting something to change right like i want something to change i don't know what but i want something to change but i don't i haven't taken the time to just fully be like damn that's you you are in that mirror and you are not fucking changing. I haven't done that acceptance and I was able to tap into that. So anyway, I was on the phone with my grandmother just now and we were talking and I was explaining to her just like my insecurities and what I was feeling and when I closed that door. And um, like objectively when I see myself, I love my eyes, love my nose, love my lips. Uh, excuse me. I love my ears. Like I love things about myself. All these individual things. But when I look in the mirror, it's just like... Uh, you know like I just it's not a full like yes I love you and I was talking to my grandma and I was explaining to her just like what I was feeling on the acid about my mom and then just telling her about like just like me like like my relationship with self and like my reflection she was saying maybe you don't like yourself fully because when you look in the mirror you see your mom and you associate that with the negativity that you had in your childhood you associate that with her like you associate what you look like with your mom and that's why you can't love yourself because you see your mom and i was like grandma what the fuck are you talking about what do you mean that's crazy and it blew my fucking mind because that could very well be a reason because i'm often scared of the fact that i look like my mother you know and i don't know why but that could definitely be it like if someone says oh you look like your mom just like don't don't say that like don't don't tell me I look like my fucking mom. Like, what do you mean? But, like, why am I scared of looking like my fucking mom? Hmm? Like, I do not, like, I don't want to look like her. I don't want anything to do with her. And until I began to really think about it, there's a reason I don't want to look like her. I don't, like, it hurts me to know that I resemble her in any way, shape, or form. It's because I don't want to be associated with the pain that she has caused me. I don't want to be associated with the pain that she has caused my siblings. Like, I don't want to be associated with any of that. So it very well makes sense that deep down, I see her, I see the lack of love she gave me, and I still can't give that to myself, which is crazy. And that is what just happened, and that's how my New Year's went. And then I also had a crazy little thing. I think the theme was just fucking radical acceptance, because fucking damn. So I was basically confessing to them that I'm constantly 
constantly chasing their love looking for their love like i want it and that is something that like i know but honestly it's a thought that i pretend it doesn't exist so i shove it into the back of my brain like deep in the bottom of my body i'm like nope i'm not that's not true so i know this about myself but it's just it's just something i haven't accepted but again this theme of radical acceptance is just there and i kind of was just like damn that's the truth like i i'm constantly searching for your love and i was like mm, i'm gonna tell them because why not we're all we're all in this trip together so i told them and it was a really emotional moment because they were basically confessing to me that they know that they can't give me what i need and they know what i need but that they just can't give it to me they know that they can't give it to me they know it's something that's not in their capacity and this is something that i also knew that i've been you know dealing with accepting that like someone that i care about romantically can't give me what i need in a romantic partnership so i've just kind of been like damn like i can't change people they just are like this i gotta accept that and they were saying it to me they're just like like i just can't give you what you need i was like damn because it it is but like in that moment it was the perfect time for me to like receive that information because i just was able to listen to them hear them see them and i like truly truly understood love in that moment because i fucking love them like i've loved them for like almost seven years and i don't care that they can't give me what i need in a relationship like I love that about them. Like I don't love that for me, but I love that about them. Like I love who they are. I love all of them, and I truly, truly like I do. And I was telling them that I can love you and accept you and understand that you can't give me what I need, but I can also mourn the part of you and the part of me that like, like you know, I can mourn the part that wants you to be who I need. I can mourn the part that wants you to step up and be the person that I want you to be, you know? Like, I can mourn that because everyone has wants and needs for a romantic relationship, you know? And I'm allowed to be like, damn, when I, when I acknowledge that, you can't give me that. And it was very emotional because I realized then that, like, I fucking love them. I realized that. If you love someone, you have to be able to let it go. Like, people say that, but I, I got it in that moment. Like, if you love someone, you got to be able to let it go. Because I just let it go. Like, damn, yeah. I love you so fucking much, but you are not what I need. And now I just have to move on. And that's a hard place to get. Because I've been... It's been years I've known this. But I finally accepted it. And it was beautiful. And that's what love is, guys.